There is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. And that's why I am on the trail of a Nephilim. The Genesis 6 narrative states that the Nephilim are on the earth in those days and also afterwards. If that's true, can we find evidence that corroborates this? I'm L.A. Marzulli. Join me as we go on the trail of a Nephilim. A slight deviation, but you have to understand. Here's my lead story. Space aliens walking amongst us. This is David Jacobs. Uh, we've interviewed him. I'll be showing a clip either tomorrow or Thursday of an interview from our Watchers series. So aliens, hybrids walking amongst us, which is the title of one of his one of his last book, the last book that he published. All right. So am I deviating from on the trail? No, I'm not. And I'll get into that and I'll tell you why in just a second. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor, Noble Gold. For years now, people have been setting up a little contest between crypto and gold. But that's like comparing a truck with an SUV. Both carry stuff and travel from point A to point B. But they do different jobs. Gold's job is to keep the value of your money safe and preserve its value. And since Ukraine and all the nonsense that's going over there and the oil inflation crisis, it's done a brilliant job compared to stocks and other investments. If you're worried about what's going on right now, and frankly, folks, who isn't? Just talk to an expert at Noble Gold about precious metal IRAs for your retirement. They'll put you straight on your options and hold your hand through the whole setup process. And this month, for any qualified IRA, you'll get an incredible three-ounce silver American Virtue coin completely free as a thank you. Folks, please call 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Now to find out, and if you want to go to the website, that's noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. That's once again, noblegoldinvestments.com. They have been a faithful supporter of what we do here, and they really uh, help us by by uh, spending their advertising dollars on our show. So please consider that. Once again, 877-646-5347, noblegoldinvestments.com. What are you waiting for? May 19th to the 22nd, Homeward Bound Conference. It's the meeting of our tribe. I can't wait to be there. And I will be speaking twice. Look at, look at the lineup there. It's absolutely incredible. So check that out. Also, I'll be speaking, and this is a real... A real doozy for me, Utah. May 27th to the 29th, the Vernal Utah Symposium, UFO Disclosure Dispo Symposium. I'll be speaking one time on Sunday. Please, please check it out. Please check it out. And um, hope, hopefully we'll see you there. It's uh, I'm the only Christian presenter, so it's going to be really interesting. And there's some big names there. Anyway, moving right along. Look, we have to come to grips and understand that all this, the, all this dovetails together. What happened in the Genesis 3.15 narrative carries right up until the second coming of Jesus. You have to understand that. You have to get our, we have to get our heads around that. That Genesis 3.15 is the template. Genesis 3.15 sets up the rest of the biblical prophetic narrative. The seed of the dragon, the offspring of the dragon, will be at enmity at war with the offspring of the woman. Think about this. Why does Jesus warn us? It'll be like the days of Noah when he returns. Well, I don't know, L.A. They were eating and drinking. Who is they that were eating and drinking? Not mankind. It's the fallen watcher angels having sex with the women of the earth. I realize some of you just go, oh, my gosh, I, how can angels have sex? Read read the sec, read my book, uh, Counter Move, How the Nephilim Returned After the Flood. Shameless plug. But here's the deal, and, and we have to come to grips with this. We have to understand that the seed war, the offspring of the dragon and the offspring of the woman are at war and at enmity with each other. The offspring of the woman is Messiah. He crushes the dragon's head on Calvary. It's over. Not really, because the dragon still rules this earth. He still is the prince of the power of the air. What is my mission statement? I'll tell you what my mission statement is. 
to expose the deception of the prince of the power of the air and to herald the return of the king, Jesus. We are in the window of time where the return of the king could happen at any moment. The rapture, we go up first because we're not appointed to wrath. You may disagree. You may be post or mid. That's fine. I'm not going to argue it. But I truly believe the bride of Christ is not slated for the tribulation. It's the wrath of God for crying out loud. Why is it that when he says, when you see these things happen, look up? That's to the church. If you're, if you're in Israel and you're a Jew, you know, flee to the mountains. There, there's there's two, two things going on here. I believe one is to written to the Jews. The other one is written to the church. When you see these things, look up because your redemption is drawing nigh. What does that mean? Build a bunker if you want to. Look, if, if, that's, what, if that's your paradigm, more power to you. But I'm not holding on to that for a second. We go up and then all hell breaks loose. I believe the church, the rapture, triggers the tribulation, but I digress. So we need to understand that what we are looking at in modernity reflects back to the Genesis 3.15 narrative. Our lead story with Dr. David Jacobs, right, aliens walking amongst us. This is a continuation of, of last Friday's show. Get this, rung, the rungs of disclosure. Number one, Commander David Fravor, this is a review. Commander David Fravor, Tucker Carlson, 2017. Luis Elizondo follows, talking about mystery medals retrieved from crashed UFO sites. Christopher Mellon comes on, Tucker and, and all media, and tells, tells the world, yeah, we've tested the metal, guess what? There are isotopes in it which are not found on this earth. Number four, Fourth rung on the disclosure ladder. The Pentagon announces off-world vehicles not made on this earth. Look, folks, this isn't L.A. Marzulli, you know, batting you over the head, telling you to watch my, my UFO video, but you need to watch that. This is your government telling you exactly what's going on. The cat is out of the bag. Pastors need to wake up and start telling their congregation. Why? Wait till we get into number six, and that's the, the basis of this show. Number five, the UFO report. Well, you know, out of 143 sightings, we could only disprove one of them. Not making this stuff up, folks. I keep saying that because I never thought I would live to see what we're seeing now. By the way, part two of our free UFO disclosure film, that will be released very shortly. It's almost done. I promised you the end of April, I'm going to hold myself to that promise and keep that promise. So number six, and this is where we go. The Pentagon is saying unexplained pregnancies uh, from people that have been abducted by UFOs. I've been talking about this. It's in our wheelhouse. We've, we've stated it over and over and over and over again at conferences, on shows, on interviews. All right. That being said, Brett Baer runs bizarre report, suggesting link between UFOs and unexplained pregnancy. There's no suggestion here. It's exactly what's happening. Why are they running with it now? It's the next rung on the disclosure ladder. That's what's going on. They're rolling it out, folks. Time to wake up. So here's the deal, and I'm just going to get right into this, that some of the um, secondary side effects from an encounter, close encounters of the third, fourth, fifth kind, hair loss, headaches, fever, nightmares, burnt skin, heart palpitations, nosebleeds. With the women, and, and if you've not seen that video that we interviewed this woman who, was, who had visitations, oftentimes uh, the uterus is all messed up. Fallopian tubes are twisted. They cannot get pregnant. That's what happens. I will be reading from a text from my Nephilim trilogy book sometime this week when Art McKenzie, the protagonist, this is all based on research. That book, the first book in the trilogy, was released in 1999. And it was based on research. It's fictional, but based on research. And McKenzie finds himself in the seventh floor of the newly built wing of the hospital. And he interviews this woman who was taken and in the first trimester, the child was taken from her. Folks, they are making hybrid entities. I'm not making this stuff up. I wish I was. This is exactly like the days of Noah. So this is on the trail. We are on the trail of a Nephilim. A hybrid entity today, in essence, is a modern-day Nephilim. The Antichrist will be the offspring of of the serpent, the son of perdition. He will be, in fact, a modern-day Nephilim, in my opinion. So let's walk through it. The first one is in Close Encounters of the Second Kind, all right? 
But the second testimony, and I'll be interviewing this person probably not this week, although it, it might happen, but um, because I'll be going to Oklahoma tomorrow. More than likely when I get back, I'll interview this individual and try to get more of a one-on-one. -on -one. So the first is close encounters of the second kind, when the craft is in close proximity. This one here is face-to-face -face with a hybrid entity. Okay, here we go. Hey, LA, I recently saw something I've never seen before. I'm 61 years old. About two months ago, I was driving at night. I drive a city transit with huge windows. It was dark. I was on the highway. There were no large lights around me. To my right, at about 2 o'clock position, I saw two bright lights in the air that looked like car lights on high beam, but it was about 150 feet off the ground. As it got closer to me, it was directly ahead of me. When it got in front of me, I could see five very bright lights across the front. It went directly, I went directly under it. I looked up as I did and could not see the body of an airplane. I looked in my mirror after going under it and it was not visible behind me. I don't know if it was one of our secret chips or a UFO. I live about 2.5 hours from Mount Adams, which is a pretty charged area. Have you ever heard of or seen anything like this? In my opinion, that's close encounters of a second kind. It might have been one of ours, but I don't think so. So my question to the person who wrote this in, uh, if you didn't hear any sound, more than likely it was one of theirs, as it, as it were. All right. Uh, this is the one, close encounters with a hybrid entity. So as in the days of Noah. So we, we have the report on Brett Baer last week talking about that women are becoming pregnant when they have UFO encounters. Nothing new there. Now it's changed. Ovum is taken from the woman. Sperm is taken from the men. They've changed the protocol. Dr. J Dr. David Jacobs' last book, Hybrids Walking Amongst Us, is a must read. An absolute, it, my copy burned in the fire. Okay, it was autographed. I had a lot of books that were autographed, and I, I can't replace that. So I, I mourn for my, my burnt library. I wish I had some of that research material back. But anyway, let's get into this. It was approximately in September 2019 around lunchtime. I was in my work truck with another technician I was working with that day. We were in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida at Hardy's restaurant in the drive through line. As we approached the window, my buddy Larry handed me his payment and I gave it to the lady at the drive through window. She rang his meal up and handed me his card and then proceeded to take my payment. We waited a few moments and she handed me the drinks, then proceeded to hand me Larry's food. I gave him the bag and he was already digging into it. I reached my hand out to take the second bag and looked at the lady and half her face was shifting. And half her face was shifting. And half her face was shifting. Okay? It was almost like a pearl abalone shell, mirror-like looking skin. And her left eye was iridescent blue. I instantly was frozen with fear and even jumped back from the window. She instantly knew I had seen her shape shift and saw the look of fear in my face. She even retreated from the window and covered her face as she was retreating. I instantly asked Larry if he saw what I saw. He said no, but was curious why the woman behind the, the woman handing us the food and our payments had such a reaction. He saw her retreat quickly and thought it was odd. I didn't really go into detail with him about what I saw because I was in a management position and didn't want it to become a topic of discussion. My heart was beating so fast, I even pulled into a parking lot at the gas station next door and went inside to the bathroom to have my mini panic attack. The encounter, bro, the encounter, Sorry, the encounter was unmistakable and as vivid as if it happened yesterday. I'll never forget it. Folks, how many more of these do we have to have reported across my desk? Do I have to report to you before we realize that something unprecedented is happening on the planet? It is just like the days of Noah. I am on the trail of the Nephilim in the past and in the present. Moving right along, folks. There it is. Free UFO film. Okay? Free UFO film. If you open up the text box right below this window, you'll see the link to it. Please, 
take an hour and watch the film. Part two will be available soon, and I'll give you updates on that uh, in the coming days. Thanks so much for watching. I'm a trail of a Nephilim. I am your intrepid host, and we'll keep at my post reporting. Please tell your pastor what is going on. They need to know. They need to arm the congregation. It's no longer fringe. It's no longer assigned to coast to coast. And I've been on that show for 20 years talking about this. It is now a reality at your doorstep. What are you going to do with it? Thanks so much for watching. Remember, we'll see you on the air or in the air. I've seen a UFO. I've seen a UFO. And I saw a UFO. A UFO. A UFO. A UFO.